intro you have just seen I'm sure you'll be wondering what exactly is going on on this mix now don't worry it's a usual concept that you already know but we'll be having a detailed understanding of how it works and what exactly it is so just keep on rolling Let's get to have a feel of what it has to offer. So in the traditional DJ environment, it's a concept that has been used for long. So if you clearly get to understand it, you see, it's actually a morphine effect, you see. So you can see how I morph the sound down. So it's a very popular concept that has been used over the years. It became very common during the introduction of the radio cassette. The use of radio cassette to mix songs. So some of you might not know what exactly is radio cassette. Let me show you a sample of what radio cassettes look like. So this is it. You can clearly see these are the different types. So if you are just seeing this for the first time, it's unfortunate that you are coming late when technology has already left this stage. So you might wonder what exactly they use this. So this is the device that plays it. So this is the device that plays it, radio, so it has provision for cassette, things like this, you can see them. So this is the cassette, together with the radio in this particular scenario, sorry I don't have the cassette here, I would have shown you practically, let them will demonstrate it to you, for you to understand what you are saying. But with this I'm sure you have a clear picture of what this device looks. This is the radio cassette down, and this is the cassette up, the man is trying to insert it into it. So these are EQs have EQs here. So these EQs are used to adjust the frequencies of different sounds. You use this frequency to play around with the sound, the high frequency sound such as the trebles, the mid frequency and the low frequency such as the bass. So there is another unique dimension to this that results to the broad to the bringing of filters into mixing. When you use this cassette during that period you get to understand that there is a particular way this cassette do behave. When it's dirty, when it's playing, it provides a particular unique kind of sound that is completely different from the usual EQs they use, just like the sound you are hearing at the background. If you are using your normal phone, you might not get to hear the sound very well. Or if you are just playing it on a normal device. But if you are using an earpiece, you get to appreciate the sound that you are hearing right now that I'm talking. You see that it's completely different from the usual EQs. It's a kind of a mix. So it's a concept that is being used to transition, to play around the song different ways. So let's get to understand how this effect comes into play as I'm talking. So you... So this cassette has magnetic tape inside. The magnetic tape is so sensitive that if you bring a magnet and you rub it on this cassette, you make a complete mess of this cassette. I've done it several you make a complete mess the same thing with the video cassette that we use for those who have idea who have used it before they use the concept of magnetic wave to write on the song on the cassette and to also use magnetic wave to clean information on it through pumping of current on what you have here which is called playhead so the wave is being pumped into the playhead at its, as it comes into the playhead the playhead is made up of coil a coil that generates magnetic wave 
that is directly making contact with this cassette. So while it is making contact with this cassette, it's rubbing it and it's pumping in the wave based on the sound that you have. So sometimes when the cassette is dirty or when it squeezes or when it moves along a wrong part of the playhead, it generates that particular sound. That is where they now cash in and they now use it now as an effect in DJing. So sometimes, how do we get to this particular stage? So your device, whether you are using the controller or the virtual DJ or whatsoever device you are using, you need to understand that on the normal thing, this is supposed to be a concept that comes as a result of error from the cassette, but it's now being adopted. Even the idea of the skipping, which we now call beat greeting, they are all heading toward that direction. We'll look at the aspect of beat greeting, possibly in my subsequent video or some goes on. But for this, you get to appreciate it so much that if you get to see how this thing works, let's get to see how it works. It's a combination of some concept. Look at it. These are your capacitors. These things are found in virtually every electronic device, your mobile phone, any electronic device that produces sound. So this takes care of storing the charge and the concept of storing this charge is being used to generate what we call subwoofer these days. So when you attach this to the output of your speakers, it changes the sound completely. So it's the same concept that, that is being used here now. So they use it to give a particular resistance to this particular capacitor. Sometimes the capacitor might be adjustable or a resistor is attached to it, possibly maybe at the pre-amplification stage, that is before the sound is being amplified. So don't worry, you are seeing this, it appears the capacitor, this one is too elementary. You get to see them in detail. Let me show the different sizes. You can see them. Look at them in different shapes. Look at them in different shapes here. You can see them. This is a big one. So it became necessary that I had to explain this thing because some, I was at an event of recent and the DJ was playing and auto, auto, automatically his device switched to this type of mode. And he was confused. He never knew what he did. He never knew where the error is coming from. He was just restless. That was an event that they spent so much money preparing. It's like they spent almost the past six months making preparation for that event, only for him to come and get this kind of embarrassment. So as a DJ, understanding this concept of sound engineering that I'm explaining now is very, very important for you. So when you don't really understand it, it can make a complete mess of your work and you will not know where exactly your problem is coming from. So these things are found in our amplifiers, amplifiers, uh, the DJ gears, they might not be big, uh, appear this big in real life. Look at them here. Let me open this one so that you see. So it becomes very integral for me to explain some of these things first before you get to see how it is being used to virtual DJ. You can see them in different sizes here. Most of these streamer capacitors are being used at the input stage of your amplification. So these are some of the things that makes life so fun so interesting these ones are found this one you are seeing they are the new type of capacitor that are being used now you see them in our mobile phone and host of other appliances this one this one this one look at them these short short ones you are seeing so these are adjustable capacitor they are mostly used in your fm radio station or even fm transmitters these ones are being used inside look at them so let's get to see how the mapping for this in virtual dj so when we come to our virtual DJ device, we go to our settings. You wonder how I do it. So let's get to see it. I use a particular key. Let me open my keyboard for you to see. I use a particular key here. So I use letter Y. This is it. So this is the letter Y. This is level 100% when it is down. Then this is another attachment to the command as I've said several. This is up. This is asking us that when we press our key down, this first part of the command will be executed. So the highlighted part, which is the first part of this command, is saying our level fader. That means our level fader will, will be 100% while we press it. That means when this letter Y is being pressed down, our level, that is the volume, will be 100%. And this is the normal attachment, which is a conjunction, a word that attach two commands together. For those who have, just like the normal English, where if you want to tell somebody, do this and do this other one again, that is what this, the rule of this and in this particular sentence is doing. 
So it's the same thing in everyday life. Then what will now happen is as soon as we leave this letter Y, it will execute this other part of the command. That means it's going to put the level at 75% and also filter minus two. That is why if you observe when we are pressing this key continuously, you will see that our filter is going down, is filtering the sound down the more. So you will notice that I use this command in two different uh, situations. I use it to muffle the filter the sound down and also filter it up. So we get to see the other side of the command too. So this is querying the state of our key. That means this same letter Y, when it is up, it will now execute this part of the command. So let's get to see. This is the opposite of the of this same command. It's a combination. I still use the same letter Y, but in this case, I use Control Y. So you will now see it's the same thing. The only difference is this part. This plus two percent. So the normal letter, the normal letter Y command is this minus two percent. Here is plus two percent. That is why I more fully down when I want if, when I want to increase the filter to a higher value. I use plus. Then when I want to reduce it, I use minus. So you get to see it in action. This is it. The beating is playing. Just watch. This is later Y. Let me select the deck. Look at it. You can see. So when I press the Y, Control Y, it increases it. That is why it will go up. So, so when I still use only this letter Y, it will take it down. So you can see it. You can see how beautiful it is. So it's a very simple concept. So now that you now have an understanding of this, you will now see that you can use this in several ways. You can use it to even muffle some particular part of the lyrics that you don't want while mixing. It's a very common feature now. And even for some people, they combine this alongside echo to echo out the song. They combine this with even the same loop to increase the looping with beat greeting. In short, they is just all about how far you can think how far and how good you can play around with this particular effect it's a very common effect and very interesting when you know how to use it and at what point in time so sometimes when you are using it you want to keep a connection between your audience while doing the mixing that you want to move out the song you want to bring out the song but you don't want to just end it at once you want them to have a feel of the song while maybe the mc is talking or any other thing is going on at an event or you want them to be singing along while the beating is just flowing around with it just the way you are hearing it now i'm sure you'll be enjoying it maybe as i'm speaking and you are seeing how it is going let me now bring up the beating let me put it up I'm sure you are joining it now. Let's keep it and continue to give the fire up. So don't forget to keep a date for more as I will be bringing you more as we move. Got it. 
Oh, 